Hello again, hello. We are in Leviticus 21. We're talking about the holiness of the priest. It goes from the holiness of the priest. God speak to Moses on Leviticus 21. And it's continued down to Leviticus 22. Two chapters to talk about the holiness of the priest so let me start with 21 and give a small example then we're going to stop come back with 22 and give another small example since they all goes hand in hand together it's a, a little bit of reading so i don't want to confuse you we're doing a whole long with both two of them together let's carry on with the reading amen the lord says to moses speak to the priest the son of aaron and say to them no one shall defile himself or a dead person among his relatives, except for his nearest kin, his mother, his father, his sons, his daughter, his brother, likewise for a virgin sister close to him, because she has not, she has had no husband. He may defile himself for her. Verse 4. But he shall not defile himself as a husband among his people and so profane himself they shall not make bald spot on, upon their heads or shave off the edge of their beards or make any gashes in their flesh they shall be holy to their god and not profane the name of their god for they offer the lord's offering by fire the food of their god therefore they shall be holy they shall not marry a prostitute or a woman who has been defiled. Neither shall they marry a woman divorced from her husband. For they are holy to their God. And you shall treat them as holy since they offer the food of, the food of your God. They shall be holy to you. For I, the Lord, I who sanctify you, I'm holy. Nine, when the daughter of a priest profane herself through prostitution, she profane her father, she shall be burned to death. Ten, the priest who is exalted above his feelings, on whose head the anointing oil has been poured, and who has been consecrated to wear the vestment, shall not dishevel his hair, nor tear his vestment. He shall not go where there is a dead body. He shall not defile himself even for his father or mother. Twelve. He shall not go outside the sanctuary and thus profane the sanctuary of his God. For the consecration of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am the Lord. Thirteen. He shall marry only a woman who is a virgin, a widow, or a divorced woman, or a woman who has been defiled, a prostitute, a prostitute, there he shall not marry. He shall marry a virgin of his own kin, that he may not profane his offspring among his kin. For I am the Lord, a sanct a sanctif I sanctify him. Now let's continue on with verse 16 the lord spoke to moses saying speak to aaron and say no one of his offspring throughout their generation who has a blemish may approach to offer the food of his god for for no one who is who has a blemish Who has a blemish may approach to offer the food of his God. For no one who has a blemish shall draw near. One who shall draw near. One who is blind or lame. Or one who has a mutilated face or, or a limb too long. Or one who has a broken foot, or a broken hand, or a hunchback, or a draft, draft, or a 
a man with a blemish in his eyes or an itching disease or scab or crushed testicles nor descendants of Aaron the priest who has a blemish shall come near to offer the Lord's offering by fire since he has a blemish he shall not come near to offer the food of his God he may eat the food of his God of the most holy as well as of the holy 23 but he shall not come near the curtain or push the altar because he has a blemish that he may not profane the sanctuary for I am the Lord I sanctify them though Moses spoke to Aaron and to his son and to all the people of Israel okay um, holiness of the priests okay this is what chapter 21 is all about the laws offer guidelines to protect the holiness of priests and the holiness of the sanctuary they administer to the requirement of holiness are more stringent for priests than for the lay person all right as you heard me as i was reading you can see the requirement for them is a whole lot more severe now in verse one two three contact with a with or proximity to a human corpse was considered the most severe source of impurity according to numbers 19. though priests were prohibited from attending funerals for the dead except for close family members when I say by close family members, you, they talk about severely close family members, extremely close. Those are include, uh huh, um, and say to them, the Lord said to Moses, speak to the priests and the sons of Aaron, and say to them, that's what the Lord said to the people, no one shall defy himself for a dead person among his relatives, except for his nearest kin. His daughter, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother, likewise for a virgin sister close to him because she has, she has had no husband. He may defy himself for her, but he shall not defy himself as a husband among his people and to profane himself. Wow. All right. The Lord has spoken all right so therefore what did god say you could defy yourself for your brother even though he's married he may be single he may be married it's okay your mother because she bear you your father because he bear you uh you know your you know your father your mother and stuff like that your sister only if she's a virgin if she's not a virgin you cannot go to you cannot defy yourself for for them you know mourn that funeral you cannot mourn it you cannot do it like a regular person would you know because if she is married that's out of the picture okay there's laws this and him and he must follow it to the t right the laws are a little bit more rough for that and verse five this disfigurement were associated with mourning rites and neighboring pagan religion, which was discussed in chapter 19, verse 27, 28. Let me read verse 5 for you. They shall not make bald spot among their heads or shave off the edge of their beard and make any gashes in their flesh. When, when, when I was reading um, 19, we we went over that 19 19 where's 19 where's 27 where's 27 where it is you shall not 
round off the the hair. You shall not round off the hair of your temple or mar the edge of your beard. You shall not make any gashes in the in your flesh for the dead or tattoo any marks upon you. I am the Lord. You shall not profane your daughter by marking her a prostitute. That the that the land not be not become prostitute and full of dep of depravity. Don't mark yourself. Don't sell your daughter for prostitution. Um, don't do tattoos. Don't put tattoo on you. Don't cut when you know like men like like to shave their head, the ball, and do all the. Don't do. Don't do. Don't mark your head. Don't put marks. Don't remember the dead with your body. That that's the pagans. That's people who did evil things who used to to do that. People was not worship worshiping the Lord. That God do do what I want you to practice those things. So don't do it. Okay. Let's continue with with um verse uh seven and stuff like that so we could continue. A woman who has been defiled is one who has been involved in sexual activity outside the bond of marriage. For example, uh a, a woman who has been raped. Okay. A woman who has been raped has been defiled. Uh, the woman who has been right. Um, where's okay. Um, verse the verse. Verse 10 and 11, verse 10 and 11 is pretty much speaking about the priest who is exalted ab above his fellows and who and whose head the anointing oil has been poured and who has been consecrated to wear the vestment shall not dishevel his hair nor tear his vestment. He shall not go where there is a dead body. He shall not. He shall not defy himself even for his father or mother. Right? He shall not defy himself. It's also, you could also see that again on verse 1, 2, 3, which, which I just read to you before. You, you could see, see that there. So, so God don't want you to dishevel your, your, your body. He, he, he said, no one shall defile himself for a dead person. Not among he, not dead person. No one shall defile himself for a dead person among his relative, except for his except for the nearest of kin. His mother, his father, his brother, his sister, likewise for a virgin sister who is not yet married. Okay? He may defile himself for her. So if your family member die, you cannot do it. Okay, that's why the, you cannot defy yourself for for your family because the glory of God is upon you. He already anointed you, so He don't want you to have any blemish, any marks, anything in your body that is against the word of God. Okay, now. May the glory and peace of God be with you. We're doing this small um, explanation of the word. May you understand it better. So you know how to carry on with the word of God. Okay? Peace. Shalom. May your home be blessed. May your family be blessed. In Jesus' name.